Twitter. The social media giant that has dominated the online conversation for years now faces a formidable challenger on the horizon. Threads, the innovative feature introduced by Instagram, is shaking up the digital landscape and leaving us with one burning question. Will Threads replace Twitter? In this thrilling video, we dive deep into the fierce battle between these two platforms, exploring their unique strengths, user experiences, and the potential implications of this head-to-head -head competition. Prepare to witness a clash of titans as we unravel the intricacies of Threads versus Twitter. Who will emerge victorious in this showdown for social media supremacy? Join us as we dissect the features, analyze the impact, and ultimately attempt to answer the question, will Threads replace Twitter? Before we dive deep, Please subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell, so don't miss any update from the channel. If you're breathing and online, you've likely heard about Threads, the new kinder, gentler, less musky Twitter thread everyone's talking about. If you have an Instagram account, you might be on Threads, too alongside me and more than 105 million other people pretending to pay attention at work when we're really just sneaking peeks at what's threading now. It has been less than a week since the team behind Instagram pushed the ad troll and bot-free new social media space out to the world, and already it has obliterated every app launch record to date. By a lot. For context, it took TikTok nine months to hit the 100 million mark in Instagram, a full 2-1 slash 2 years to reach that milestone. 100 million people signed up for threads in five days. I'm not sure I can wrap my mind around that fact," wrote Instagram CEO Adam Mossery on his Threads account. It's insane. I can't make sense of it. Now let's hit the biggest question so far and thread a kit before that new car smell starts to wear off. Will Threads replace Twitter? That's the $44 billion question, and for tens of thousands of people, it already has. According to Insider, a private poll of 200 current Twitter employees showed that nearly 70% responded yes to the prompt threads, RIP Twitter. In some of his earliest missives on the platform, Zuckerberg said he was focused on making threads a friendly place, adding that that would ultimately be the key to its success. That's one reason why Twitter never succeeded as much as I think it should have and we want to do it differently," he wrote. Tech junkies might counter that Zuckerberg has played and lost this game before. He tried to replicate the ephemerality of Snapchat with Facebook Stories feature or the compulsive scroll of TikTok with Instagram's Reels. Neither feature successfully bested out the competition. When it comes to getting users in the habit of posting on threads, one of the app's biggest weaknesses may be the very thing that might make the launch a success, the strength of the meta brand. Some tech analysts called it the terrible uncle problem. The terrible uncle problem is the issue that comes about when all of your relatives, your colleagues, your high school classmates are able to find you on social media. Greenwood told NPR's Bobby Alin on NPR's Morning Edition. Younger people, especially, are turned off a platform where they feel like they have to censor what they're saying. If you want to stay updated to the latest technological revelations, just hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or thought about the subject or any suggestions for us, do let us know in the comment box.